video to launch an investigation and an internet firestorm. It appears to show two Fort Worth police officers pinning down a suspect while one takes swings at the man. Dan Haggerty is live at police headquarters where, Dan, the officers are still on the job. Yeah, that's right, Gilma. I also talked to the attorney who's representing the man who was on the ground there. She tells me the video speaks for itself, while police are saying it's what happened before and after that video clip that makes the difference. The video hit social media over the weekend. Two officers on top of 35-year-old Forrest Curry during an arrest in East Fort Worth. One officer clearly taking swings at Curry during the scuffle. Police asking people not to jump to conclusions here because of what they say happened before someone hit record. It doesn't matter. I don't really care what happened before at all. Curry's attorney, Jasmine Crockett, says this is all she needs to see. The 45-second clip of a struggle that police say lasted more than four minutes in total and started when police say Curry, who seemed intoxicated, tried to assault EMS workers. There is nothing in their policies and procedures, I'm sure, that allows for them to use a closed fist to punch someone in their head or to kick and stomp them as they're already on the ground. Police charged Curry with resisting and evading arrest. Said it took four officers to finally get him in handcuffs. He spent most of the weekend behind bars. They don't have any proof that there was any drunkenness or any drugs involved, but even if there was, it doesn't mean that he's given up all civil rights that he has. And I was told this morning by the fire department to expect a, a statement about the initial response that they made to the incident involving Curry and why they felt the need to call for backup from the police department, though I was told again later this afternoon to just wait a little bit longer for that statement. As far as the officers who were involved in this, they are, as we said off the top, still on the job right now as the police department continues its investigation. Reporting live, Dan Haggerty, CBS.